Howdy everyone, today I'd like to take a casual peek into the Marvel Universe Skrull Soldier action figure set by Hasbro. The set is number 24 from series 2 and was first released in 2010 but has seen a constant reissue up to the current day, uh, mainly because it's a great army builder. Now. Uh, I found this set uh, in 2011, well actually not just this set, but actually eight uh, scroll soldiers that I found over uh, several different targets. Uh, at the time, uh, Target was having uh, a sale on Marvel Universe figures at $6.99, and not only that, uh, they also had a buy one get one free uh, offer, so it was a great time to pick up on army building figures yeah, because uh, the cost was basically down to 350 uh, per set. Taking a look here at the figure in the package, you can see uh, the lean frame of a scroll soldier here. It comes with a few accessories, a laser or blaster pistol and a laser or blaster rifle or assault rifle there and uh, you can also see the top secret uh, envelope back there that came with uh, series 2 as well as uh, the uh, display base on there and I believe there's a variant of this scroll soldier with the display base in uh, scroll lettering instead of uh, English there <laughs> unfortunately I don't believe uh, any of my sets are the variants I believe they're all the standard sets you got a nice uh, piece of artwork there of the scroll soldier and uh, it's number 24 from series 2 Taking a look here, we have the back of the package. Uh, we got the numbering and another picture of the scroll soldier. And here we have a description. And uh, other figures uh, from this particular wave. I can't remember what wave this was. I, either 8 or 9, I can't remember. Uh, but uh, other figures from this wave, we had uh, Winter Soldier, Iron Patriot, and Mary Jane Watson. And of course we have uh, Norman Osborn here, uh, part of Hammer, wanting you to join the the rank and file of Hammer there. And uh, we'll be right back and have uh, this set out of the package. Alright, uh, we have the scroll soldier here out of the package and let's go ahead and take a look at all of the accessories that come with the figure first. First up uh, we have here a top secret uh, envelope, which is kind of cool. And uh, within this envelope are several items. First up, uh, we have here uh, the Fury Files code that you can enter online. Uh, well, you can't anymore. It's not active. I'm not sure why I said that. Uh, but uh, next up, we have here the Superhuman Registration Act card of a typical scroll on there. And I'm thinking that's a fingerprint of a scroll uh, taking the form of a human there, because that looks like a, th a human thumbprint on there. And uh, we have a nice uh, picture of a scroll soldier on the other side there. And uh, next up here we have a pretty amusing letter uh, from Dr. Sarah No uh, to Norman Osborne, uh, basically asking Norman to s supply her with more scroll soldiers for her research. Uh, she needs uh, more specimens uh, in order to, uh, I guess, concoct this human safe healing agent. And <laughs> the scroll soldiers are uh, wearing out faster than uh, she wants them to. <laughs> so she's uh, requisitioning uh, a few more uh, scroll soldier specimens or test subjects. And I'm sure they're non-willing uh, test subjects. <laughs> I thought that was kind of interesting there. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the other accessories. Uh, we have here a display base uh, with a nice uh, embossed Marvel logo on top and uh, the name of the figure and the number from the series on there. And we have two pegs on the base to allow you to place one or both uh, feet of the figure uh, onto the base. Uh, nothing on that side. And I did mention that there was a variant uh, 
that included a base with the uh, scroll soldier name in the scroll language there. I've never seen one and uh, none of the sets I have have this uh, scroll lettering but uh, it'd be interesting to do some research on the interwebs to see what it looks like. Next up uh, we have here a blaster pistol on there and uh, the figure can wield this on his uh, right hand. Uh, his uh, left hand is just a little too open uh, for the uh, figure to grasp on there. You can see the some more detail at the end of the barrel there painted green. It's kind of neat and it's made of a really soft type of material, rubberized material on there. Another of the accessories is the blaster and you can see the figure here is uh, holding it uh, in, with both hands there. Uh, it's got a little bit of a loose grip there. And it's actually kind of neat. It's very alien uh, in design or scroll in design I guess. And it's got some nice paint of green here uh, to make it even uh, cooler. And of course uh, some more green at the end of the barrel. Although it looks like uh, the application is a little off on that one. But it's uh, kind of neat. I really like uh, the the um, spikes here on the end. It's actually kind of cool. And you, as you can see, the figure is uh, grasping it uh, fairly well. And uh, it's not too difficult to get in and out of the hands. It's because it's really made of a softer rubberized material. And you can really, especially at the grip here, you can, you can manipulate this to fit into the scroll soldier's hands on there. So, but that's the blaster. Now on to uh, the scroll soldier and I've been having a great time uh, with these guys. It's just a really cool figure and it's also uh, a figure that I really like in that uh, it uses the base parts of other figures and just adds a little here and there to make it a, a uniquely uh, uniquely uh, different character than uh, from what the base is from. And I believe uh, the base figure of this uh, is the Silver Surfer from uh, all the way back from Wave 1 of Series 1 which I happen to have here and if you look at the uh, most of the body sculpt there it pretty much matches the Silver Surfer figure the only thing really different is uh, it's recast in a different color and uh, got some nice uh, black wash applied onto the figure of course you got a different head and uh, forearms there but uh, everything else is basically the same and uh, Hasbro just really just added this belt and this shoulder piece on here and uh, it's just a, a different character altogether and that's uh, what I admire uh, to, about uh, companies that do that they actually just take a simple uh, mold and just add stuff here and there and it makes a completely different character and uh, taking a look at this scroll soldier in more detail, it's actually kind of neat. It's got loads of detail, especially at the head sculpt. You can see uh, the glowing eyes painted uh, gold there. He's wearing his helmet, which is non-removable on there. And you got the, uh, of course, large uh, pointed ears of a scroll there. And you got that paint of uh, a fairly uh, dark green uh, on there. And of course, uh, some uh, black wash applied into the recesses of the face. It's actually very very nice and you got some gold trim on the helmet and of course uh, you got the shoulder piece here which is made of a separate uh, softer rubberized plastic you can see you could lift it on here if you pop the head off you can remove this entirely if you wanted to. Uh, well maybe not it looks like it's glued on the back there so it doesn't look like it's completely removable but um, I'm sure if you worked at it, you could probably take it off, but uh, I will, I'm not going to do that to mine. But it's uh, fairly nice. I like the gold trim on there. It just really makes it pop out. And uh, you got some more uh, detail here on the forearm. And um, on the silver server, yeah, there was a swivel cut on the uh, forearm here. So basically, it's probably the same thing. And they just plopped the glove onto the forearm there. And you can see he's got a trigger finger here and uh, as I mentioned earlier a more open uh, hand there. 
and I really like the wash they applied on this uh, figure. It's actually kind of neat. A uh, very dark uh, wash that uh, seeped into the uh, into the musculature. It really adds definition, especially right here on the leg. It's actually kind of cool. And you got some uh, not painted. Uh, it looks like sprayed on uh, boots on there. It's not sculpted because again, it uses uh, reuses an older mold on there. So they just simply painted the uh, boots on. You get some more detail in the belt there. It's actually kind of cool. On here. Very nice. I really like it. I had a lot of fun playing with these guys, posing uh, a, a, a small squad of these guys. It's actually kind of cool on here. Uh, going over the articulation of this figure, uh, the head does go all the way around. And barely goes up and down, unfortunately. It would have been nice if it went up and down a little bit more. Uh, the arms uh, do go all the way around uh, despite the uh, shoulder armor there it does go out and in the biceps can go all the way around single joint at the elbow and you can rotate the uh, forearm at the top of the glove and uh, as a result no articulation at the wrists uh, one uh, weakness of this uh, particular figure is uh, one inherited uh, from the Silver Surfer is uh, really the reveal of the peg hole here uh, when you move the torso because uh, the torso articulation is uh, actually kind of nice you can actually uh, move it around actually all the way around and uh, pretty far forward and far back but as you can see if you move it uh, too far back you can see the peg hole here and if you move it too far forward you can see the peg hole on the back on there but still a decent range of motion. It's actually circular in motion. It's actually kind of neat. Uh, no waist articulation. Uh, the legs are joined at the hip uh, with a simple uh, ball uh, socketed joint. Allows the leg to go up a little bit, uh, down, uh, very little of the back, but uh, out to the side. Uh, once you have it out to the side, you can actually twist uh, that leg uh, around. But not too much around, otherwise it, it simply... Uh, uh, pops out in which he can uh, pop back in uh, ra rather easily. Uh, no uh, thigh articulation but it does have uh, double knees uh, no calf articulation uh, but the feet are joined at the ankle uh, with a simple uh, hinge uh, joint there. Overall a uh, really great design a really great reuse of a mold uh, to create an entirely new character uh, that's what I really like about it and decently articulated and just really fun to play with especially if you have more than one uh, when you have a scroll invasion army and uh, more um, I guess uh, more specimens to provide the doctor uh, for <laughs> Norman Osborn uh, but this is my casual peek into the Marvel Universe uh, scroll soldier action figure set thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time <laughs>